G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of Guitar Zero to Hero Song Tutorial. And in today's lesson, by request, I'll be teaching you guys how to play Counting Stars by One Republic. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you two different ways of playing it. The first way will have a capo and will have easier chord shapes. And the second way has no capo, but it's full of bar chords. Alright, so starting with the easy version, you'll need your capo on the 4th fret of your guitar and you'll need your guitar in standard tuning. Alright, so for the finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. And those fingers won't pluck any other strings other than the ones they're assigned to. Alright, so to start the intro, we have a nice and easy A minor chord shape and our finger picking pattern is going to go something like this. We're going to pluck the bass note, which is the 5th string for this A minor then we're going to pluck the 4th string and then the 2nd and 3rd strings together and then go back to the 4th string. So that's one picking pattern there which sounds like this all together. We're going to play that twice for the A minor which will sound something like this. And then next we're going to go to a C chord shape. Now our finger picking pattern differs a little bit here. We're going to start with a bass note which is the 5th string for this C chord and then we're going to go to the 3rd string so you're skipping a string there and then we're going to pluck the 2nd and 1st strings together and then go back to the 3rd string and that's one picking pattern for the C chord shape. Play that twice for the C chord which will sound like this. Then we're going to go to a G chord shape and we're going to play a similar picking pattern that we had for the A minor. So we're going to start on the bass note of the chord, which is the 6th string for this G chord, then go to the 4th string, 2nd and 3rd, and back to the 4th string. And we're playing that twice, which sounds like this. Then finally we get to the F chord and we're playing the exact same picking pattern twice. And that's it for the first line, which will sound like this all together. Now the second line in this intro is exactly the same, except this F chord is played for four picking patterns instead of just the two that we played in the first line. Now for basically the whole song, we're sticking with that one chord progression, which goes A minor, C, G, and F. There's only one exception to this, but I'll get to it later. So now we get to the verse, there is a different picking pattern here, but it's much simpler. So the picking pattern for the A minor is simply just going to be the bass note, and then the second and third strings together. And you're going to play that picking pattern four times. So it's just the bass note and the second and third strings together, four times, which goes like this. One and two and three and four and... Now when we get to the C chord, the picking pattern changes a tiny bit. We're alternating between the bass note, which is the fifth string, and then the second and first strings. And we're playing that for four picking patterns, which sounds like this. One and two and three and four and... And then for the G, we're going to play that for four picking patterns. Our bass note is the sixth string and we're plucking the second and third strings. One and two and three and four and... And the F chord is the exact same picking pattern. One and two and three and four and... And altogether, the verse riff will sound like this. The pre-chorus is really nice and easy because we just hold on to this F chord and we're going to play that for eight of those picking patterns in the verse, which goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And then you just end on one more bass note, which is the sixth string. Now when we get to the chorus, we're going to keep the exact same chord progression. We're just going to implement a strumming pattern here. And it's a really simple down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you've got to play that once for each chord. So the chorus will just sound like this. Now 
Now, if you want to add a little more dynamic to that strumming pattern, then we can add some extra accents to give it some more feel. Now, when I say accent, I just mean you'll play those particular strums a little bit harder. And those accents will occur on the second and the fourth down strums of that strumming pattern. I have those accented strums highlighted in the annotation here. So with the accented strumming pattern, the chorus will sound like this. Now finally we just have the bridge, and the bridge doesn't actually have any chords here, it's all just percussion. So to play along to this, all we need to do is just mute our strings with our fretting hand, and just do some strumming here. Now we'll be following along with the claps in the song. So for the start of this bridge, we'll just be strumming quarter notes, so one, two, three, four, just all down strums. And then as it builds up, we're going to go to eighth note strums. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or one and two and three and four and. So at the end of that bridge, we just have a tiny break, which is just two chords, which is the F chord, and then we go to a D minor, and then we go back into the chorus. So that's all for the easy capo version. Now I'll teach you how to play it without a capo. So now our general chord progression will be a C sharp minor bar chord. Then our second chord will be an E major bar chord here on the seventh fret and ninth fret, like that. Then we have a B major bar chord like this on the sixth string. And then we move that shape two frets down for an A bar chord. That's our last chord. So the four chord chord progression, C sharp minor, E, B, and then A. Now for the intro, our picking pattern will be bass note, which is the fifth string, fourth string, second and third strings, and then back to the fourth string. We're gonna play that twice for the C sharp minor. Then when we go to the E, we're playing the exact same picking pattern with the exact same strings. And we're gonna play that for two picking patterns. Then when we go to our B major, we're gonna pluck the sixth string, which is our bass note then 4th string, 2nd and 3rd, and back to the 4th string. That's our picking pattern, we're playing that twice. And then when we go to the A, we do the exact same thing. Now again, in the second line of this intro, we're just going to hold on to our A chord and play that for 4 picking patterns instead of 2 in the first line. So in total, the intro will sound like this. Now when we get to the verse, the picking pattern's really easy. We're just alternating between the bass note of whatever chord we're playing and the second and third strings. And this applies for all of the chords in the chord progression. For each chord, we're playing four of those picking patterns. So it will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one. For the pre-chorus, we are just going to hold on to this A chord and play that for eight picking patterns and then end with just the bass note by itself, which sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now for the chorus of this no capo version, we're going to use the exact same strumming pattern that we had in the capo version, which is just down up, down up, down up, down up. And ideally, you want to accent the second down strum and the fourth down strum. So it'll sound like this with the chords. And the bridge is going to be exactly the same. There's no real chords here. We're just following the percussion with our strums. Now for the break, just before the very last chorus, we have two chords that we're just going to strum out and hold and that is the A chord 
and then we go to an F sharp minor bar chord. And that's it. So now I'm going to be playing through the song in its entirety with the capo version. And I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss out on my updates. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions or requests then please leave them below and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.